Reem Israel Israelis on Monday marked the first anniversary of the devastating Hamas attack that triggered a war which has sparked protest worldwide and risks igniting a far wider conflict in the Middle East. Ceremonies and protests in Jerusalem and Israel's south began around 06.29 a.m., the hour when Hamas-led militants launched rockets into Israel at the start of the October 7 attack last year. They killed some 1-200 people and took about 250 hostages to Gaza, according to Israeli figures. Outside Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's home in Jerusalem, around 300 people led by families of hostages holding up photos of their loved ones, observed a minute of silence for the dead as a siren sounded. We're still stuck in October 7, 2023, in one unending day of terror, of fear, of anger, of despair, said Yuval Baron, whose father-in-law Keith Siegel is hostage in Gaza. We wanted to start this day together to remind ourselves, our Prime Minister, the public of Israel, that even though it is a day of grief, there is still a holy mission to bring back the hostages, said Baron. In rhyme, the site of the music festival where more than 360 people were killed and dozens taken hostage. President Isaac Herzog presided over the memorial ceremony, which began with the last track that was played at the party a year ago. We will remember always who kidnapped, who murdered, who raped, who slaughtered. At the same time, we have also seen extraordinary fortitude. We have a wonderful people and on this day we strengthen it and call for unity, said Herzog. Ceremonies were to take place at kibbutz villages and towns near the border throughout the day. High alert security forces were on high alert across the country on Monday, the military and police said, anticipating possible Palestinian attacks planned for the anniversary of October 7, 2023, when the worst bloodletting in the decades-old Israeli-Palestinian conflict began. Movement in the Israeli-occupied West Bank was further hampered as many checkpoints shut down, residents said and some Palestinians with entry permits received notices on their mobile phones saying they will not be allowed into Israel on Monday. In Gaza, the Israeli military said its aircraft foiled a rocket attack planned by Hamas. The Hamas attack on Israeli communities around Gaza and Israel's relentless campaign in response have destabilized the Middle East, while the scale of the killing and destruction have horrified people worldwide. Focus shifts to north. Most of the dead were civilians, including women, children, and elderly people, killed in their homes, on the roads, and at the site of the open-air Nova Music Festival, as well as soldiers on army bases near the Gaza border. In Gaza, 101 hostages remain as Israeli forces press on with their mission to end Hamas's rule of the enclave and demolish its military capabilities. But the focus of the war has increasingly shifted north to Lebanon, where Israeli forces have been exchanging fire with Hezbollah since the Iranian-backed group launched a barrage of missiles in support of Hamas on October 8. What began as limited daily exchanges has escalated into bombardments of Hezbollah's stronghold in Beirut and a ground offensive into border villages meant to stamp out its fighters there and allow tens of thousands of Israelis evacuated from their homes in the country's north to return. Israel's assault, which has killed over 1,000 people in the past two weeks, has triggered a mass flight from southern Lebanon where more than one million people have been displaced. A series of Israeli assassinations over the past few months which killed Hezbollah and Hamas chiefs, and a sophisticated attack on Hezbollah via pagers and radios, have restored some sense of security for Israelis. But they also prompted unprecedented missile attacks from Iran, raising fears of a regional war with a powerful enemy. Israel has yet to respond to the second Iranian barrage on October 1, but has vowed a harsh response. Have any thoughts on today's news or stories you'd like us to cover next? Drop your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay informed, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next update.